Lighthouse TV, NBC. Welcome to all of you in Israel State, Nigeria, and around the world. I am Becky Kasim. On the 10th of September 2018, Governor Umaru Tango Almokura announced the Nasrallah State Government will cover all the medical bills of the victims of the gas explosion that occurred Monday morning, same day. What does this shared gesture say about the man who uttered it? And what plans has he unveiled to avoid future occurrence? Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back. It is a busy city, people moving up and down, and the traffic are equally heavy on both directions. Every day is a rush hour. It is logical to assume that Nasrallah State is back alive, laid to rest the demons of the past. But sadly, in the early hours of September 10, 2018, Monaco cooking gas refilling plant, due to yet an uncovered cause of the tragedy, burst into flames and subsequently exploded. This unfortunate incident claimed the lives of nine people, including an infant. Nineteen people are currently receiving treatment on various degrees of burns at the specialist hospital in Lafia, while 17 casualties were referred to National Trauma Center, Abuja. Governor Umari Tonko Almokura visited the victims in the hospital, sympathized with them and assured them of government support to ensure that they are well tended. He also declared that all their medical bills shall be offset by the government. On behalf of the entire Nasrallah state people, the governor comes straight with the families that lost their loved ones during the gas explosion. We have a total of people that have died to nine against all the speculations that have been made. Uh, about 36 people were affected and were taken to the uh, specialist hospital where some of them were admitted, uh, those with severe bones and very serious uh, situation were uh, ferried to the National Trauma Center. We took about 17 people to the National Trauma Center, out of which uh, three died. So we now have about 14 uh, from the reports I received, they are responding very well to the treatment. I just directed that the committee should meet with me so that we will review the locational approvals of all these volatile businesses uh, to be reviewed. The Governor's Senior Special Assistant on Development, Stanley Buba, affirms the government on compromise hardline to ensure that this incident does not occur again. So, as a measure, uh, in the first and foremost place, the governor has programmed sealing of that premises until uh, further notice. And uh, right away from tomorrow, we're meeting with the DPR and other stakeholders concerned to go around all, all stations that uh, have this uh, gas plant to begin to take cautions or either sealing them off. Now and the state government is also going to make a pronouncement after meeting the relevant stakeholders so that the master plan of citing most of these industries or some of these uh, facilities that have potentials for uh, a disaster like this are uh, taken away like 500 meters away from the township because most of these things have been existing for a long time. Like this station has been there since we're in Plateau State. So it's not the issue of saying whether it is under this region that it was constructed. It has been there since we're in Plateau. That station has been there. So there are quite a lot of regulations that we're going to take. And secondly, we will also advise those with filling stations and gas plants to have smoke detectors, fire detectors, and extinguishers, and also fire hydrants, so that some of these things they can begin to take action on them before the relevant agencies uh, come and then we'll ensure that the relevant agencies always ensure that all the time they go around to ensure that this is maintained because these are normal precautionary measures taken even in your car you are always told to hold a fire extinguisher in your house you are normally told to switch off every appliances before you go to bed these are normal precautionary measures that in every facility that if you don't take it can lead uh, to this
thanks to all of you for being part of my program this week. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.